this is Asher Kanun with Pulse Secure Technical Marketing with another Quick Access Series video. Today what we're going to be talking about is Enterprise Onboarding. Uh, Enterprise Onboarding was a feature that was introduced in Policy Secure 5.1 and Connect Secure uh, 8.1. Uh, but with these uh, suites, we've been getting the question of, uh, hey, can you tell me a little bit more about Enterprise Onboarding? So we'll take a look at that today. So enterprise onboarding, there's a standalone SKU, and the SKU uh, looks like um, dash on BRD. And basically, when you install that SKU, what it allows you to do is provision a device. Now, what devices do we support? We support uh, mobile devices. So on the mobile side, we support um, iOS and Android, and the flow might be a little bit different uh, for both of them, uh, but they all uh, start off at the same place, meaning uh, it's part of our uh, portal, and from there you can provision devices. So mobile, you have iOS and Android, and on the uh, desktop side, uh, of course, uh, we have uh, Win and uh, Mac. So, you know, for most of the devices that you have, you can provision your device and be ready to go. So what does provisioning a device mean? Let's take a look at what you can actually do. So as part of the provisioning process, we push down certs. These are certificates that can be uh, used for things like um, connections, VPN connections, or mail, or machine authentication. So we can push down the certs. Now we don't uh, have a, a certificate authority built in, so we use SCEP. And we use SCEP back to an, uh, like a Microsoft certificate authority. Uh, so that we can get those certificates. The next thing is Wi-Fi profile. So a Wi-Fi profile can be, um, uh, it could be just the guest network, it could be the corporate network. You can configure as many uh, SSDs uh, that you want so that when the user has that device and they come on-prem that they'll be able to uh, securely connect to uh, the Wi-Fi infrastructure. The other thing is uh, VPN profile. And what a VPN profile is for mobile devices, it's basically the VPN connection um, information. What we do on the desktop side is we can push down Pulse Secure, the appliance. As part of the appliance, we can also push down connection sets. So you have a couple options of how you want to do it uh, when it comes to the desktop. The last piece of functionality is called Secure Mail. Uh, and what this is, is uh, right now it's iOS only, but it's a way for us to um, configure your mail and do things like inspection. So if you have a policy where uh, you don't want to allow attachments, things like that, we'll actually look at the mail and remove the attachments and put in a little note set uh, that uh, per your company's uh, policy, uh, things like um, emails or attachments can't be sent. Now, there's a couple ways for this provisioning to happen. The first flow is you sign into the portal, and if onboarding is enabled, you'll see a little button that says onboard, uh, so that users can click on it, then begin the onboard process. The second flow is you do the auto uh, onboard, which means as soon as somebody goes to a portal or goes to a sign-in policy, this will happen. The third one, the most kind of integrated method, is um, the guest flow. So the guest flow is if you get on an open SSID and get redirected to Policy Secure, instead of registering and logging in as a guest, you'll see a little link that says click here uh, for employees to provision their devices. So there's three different ways to get to the onboarding um, uh, portal so that you can provision your device. Uh, again, this is available for both Policy Secure and um, Connect Secure, and this is included as part of uh, all the additions of the suite. For more information, please visit www.pulsesecure.net. Thank you very much.